everybody, I'm just about to hit 2,500 subscribers, and, and that's kind of cool. Actually, it's way darn cool. Uh, so I'm going to have a little contest. Why not? Everyone else seems to be having contests, so I'm going to have one too. Uh, so it's going to be my 2,500 subs contest. And the theme of the contest is basically going to be the same theme as my channel. And my channel really is all about my hobby. It's what I do for me almost everything of my 750 or so, 770 odd videos. A vast majority of them all on content on my hobby, on what I do for me and me. So, I mean, there's models that I painted. I mean, there are a few exceptions. Like, I have done some models for my cousin. I've done some donation models. And I've done a, there's a couple of videos on, on uh, a couple of commissions I've had, but just uh, just a couple. And so it's really all about me, 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 to quote Agent Smith. And that's going to be the theme of my contest. What I want you to do for this contest is select a model or a project or something that you've been wanting to do just for you. Uh, whether it be something that's been in the closet for 20 years and you've been had just haven't gotten around to painting, whether it's a new kit you want to you really want to paint because you think it really looks awesome, you'd want to give that a try, uh, or anything in between. I want you to do something not for me, but for you. And that way we can all have our own enjoy our own hobby. Uh, just because we want to enjoy it. So the, the basic rules of the contest are, you know, you do have to be a subscriber because this is a subscriber contest. I do ask for two videos. Uh, one kind of introducing your, your project. Uh, something along the lines, you know, this is what it is. And the story in the background totally counts. Uh, so, you know, I want to know why you want to do this model. I want to know uh, if you're going to play it on the tabletop. If you just think it just looks so awesome, it just has to be painted or anything, I want to know why you're introducing and putting that model in the contest. And and two, the second video will be a completion video. Uh, so really that's it. And I'm just going to pick my winner, a winner uh, just simply because of what I think. It does. It's not going to be based on, you know, like the best paint or anything. It's probably going to be mostly based on the, on the coolest backstory and how much progress you can make on in the contest. I do ask that you be done, you know, to, you know, done. Uh, to a certain point, you know, at least tabletop playable, you know, three or four colors and paintable base, and a playable base. Um, but remember, the the uh, the goal here is completion, not perfection. So, and of course, yeah, again, because we can't do video responses anymore, just go ahead and uh, PM me uh, your videos, and I'll create a playlist to put on my channel's front page. Uh, and we can start, and I can start assembling all those videos. Uh, the contest is going to run for six weeks because I don't want to do it for just May because May ends in, of course, on a holiday weekend, and uh, you don't want to. I don't want to put any pressure on anyone to try and work over a holiday weekend. So I think that's. Uh, what is that? I should be better prepared for this. So it's like June twelfth. Like all final entries in on by twelve p.m. midnight Pacific Daylight Time on Thursday, June 12th. And then Friday, which of course is my day off, I will be going through the entries, trying to pick a winner. Uh, it may not be easy, I guess it depends on how many entries I actually get. Uh, if I get a fraction of what Eddie Kabir got for his 2500 so contest, I'd be ecstatic. Uh, so the, the prize is, I don't know what the prize is gonna be because the prize, once again, is gonna be all about the winner. It's not gonna be about what I wanna give away, it's gonna be about what you want. Um, and, you know, whoever wins, we'll talk about it. You know, if you just want me to send you a kit, that'd be cool. If you want me to do some work for you, conversion or painting work, whatever. Um, that would be cool, too. Uh, but, you know, probably the value or so can be around $40 U.S. That's probably what I can afford. Um, so, oh, and the best thing is, there are a lot of contests going on. If you, if you don't know, check out these other contests. Uh, Cryptek is having a contest, Drain Direct, is that it? I don't remember. Uh, it's having a cool contest uh, with categories and awesome medals. Uh, I think it's Train Direct, let me check. But anyway, so the idea is it's perfectly okay if you want to use 
models or whatever project you're doing on someone else's contest for this one too. It's perfectly cool. Say, you know, if you want to do Train Directs, uh, Mordheim contest. There's open category for a Mordheim band or something. So you've got a 20 year old Mordheim band you've been just dying to paint. You need an excuse. So you can put it in his Mordheim open contest and you can put it here in my UUU contest. Yeah, Train Direct, that is it. Um, so for example, or uh, Cryptex 30 day challenge video where you push yourself. Maybe there's something in there that you haven't wanted to paint it because you didn't think you'd do it well enough. Well, you can do it for Cryptex, you know, push yourself. And you can put it in here for you know, the UUU contest. So, yeah, that's perfectly cool. I'm way cool with that. Um, so, that's it for the contest, but I am also going to be in it too. And I'm doing a very, very important model to me. And hold on just one second, and we'll take a look at it. Okay, here it is. This is the model I'm doing for my own contest. And this is a Kill Crusher scratch built by the incredible Canvas One. He sent this to me a long, long time ago. And I only got as far as priming it. And, uh, but it deserves probably the best paint job I can possibly do. And I can, sh I can try and show you some close up on this model, but to be honest, no matter what I show you, it cannot possibly, no, no pictures, no video can possibly do this model justice. And, and it's, it's just flat out amazing. Um, let's see what we can, I'm gonna show you some really high. First of all, you got this really awesome detailed um, road wheels here. And uh, these are just, you know, they're, they're tubes running through here, some strips around them, and then some end pieces. And you got some springs here. I don't even know what, and then some like old plastic toy gears in here and it's just the detail I mean it just looks like real tank road wheels it's all completely scratch built you got two engines um, each one is a half of a truck engine and he's got to build own cylinder heads here on top for each one on top of that um, the shock uh, absorber here for the um, a recoil device for the top of the cannon and these uh, elevation shocks are, are the lifts here. These just minute little L brackets and all the little diags on here and the chipping and edging and scratches in each individual panel. Uh, we got this uh, tile plastic he's used here in some places. Uh, the one piece broke off so I'm gonna have to replace this exhaust pipe here. Um, it's got two uh, fans from, from trucks, <clears throat> one on each engine. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just every single piece has just the straps with the rivets, every single piece of plastic. These tubes here, here and here, these <clears throat> bent over, even, even this ladder here is just incredible and he's got like gears here on the side of the, of the barrel this piece here is such incredible detail on this it's, it's magnetized too so I use it like an open top battle wagon with a kill cannon here um, got these three big shooters these wonderful grots on here this is a grot bomb launching ramp I got the grot bomb but it still needs to be finished it's not quite done um, it, was, it was sent to me in pieces got these grates here some pieces of truck for detail and I mean it is just literally I, I, I cannot possibly tell you how incredible the attention to detail is on every single bit of this model um, you know I built my trucks I'm very happy with my trucks but they just don't have the the detail on every single little bit like this one does I mean look at this patch panel here on the barrel it's just fantastic and uh, can imagine all the work, you know, cutting all individual diags for each of these tracks, three diags for each one. Um, then all the rivet work, of course. Okay. Can't dismiss the rivet work at all. So, I hope you're watching this canvas, because I'm going to paint this up. It's going to be a, a Blood Axe Kill Crusher, just like all my other stuff. I haven't decided which camo pattern I'm going to use on it, whether it be the greens, the grays, or the uh, beige, but... Or maybe I'll come up with a whole new camo pattern. Um... But yeah, so this is my um, 
the model I'm going to paint up just because it deserves to be painted. It just, I don't know if I'll still, I never really get a chance to play Apocalypse. I don't know if I'll ever actually get a chance to play it, but the more important thing is that it's going to get painted um, just as best as I can. So that's going to be it for my contest video. It's going to be kind of a long video, but that's okay. So remember, go ahead and make a video telling me what your project's going to be and PM me the link to it, and I'll get started on the playlist. So uh, that's about it. Once again, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers for just paying attention to what I'm doing. I don't try to do, I don't necessarily do anything special for YouTube, but so again, everything I see is just stuff that I, I do for myself and my hobby. Uh, so that's it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and uh, good luck on the contest.